Hello, this is Scott Buceno, editor of telecoms.com, and I'm talking to Raj Chundri of Radisys. So Raj, what do you want to talk to us about today? Hey, Scott, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Today, Radisys is announcing a key uh, part of our Connect Open Broadband portfolio. The announcement uh, is about the availability and introduction of Radisys White Box Combo Pond OLTs. These OLTs essentially enable the ONF's SIBA Volta ecosystem of hardware uh, for uh, White Box OLTs. Okay, that's great. So uh, there's a f- fair few uh, acronyms in there. So um, maybe you could just explain in, in, in a little bit more detail, maybe not what all of them stand for, but what the key ones stand for and, and what it is that's that's special about this launch. Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, PON stands for pa- Passive Optical Networking. It is basically the network technology that allows you to uh, deploy fiber to the home. And uh, OLT stands for Optical Line Terminals. Think of them as the equivalent of a base stations, but for a wireline network. And uh, uh, the key uh, the key parts of uh, what we're announcing today essentially is, uh, like I said, uh, expanding the ONF's white box OLT hardware ecosystem. To those of us who are aware of what is happening in uh, uh, the SIBA, SDN enabled broadband access and Volta, virtual OLT hardware abstraction uh, uh, projects, uh, with the disaggregation of the OLT, you now have virtualized software, and then you have the hardware that is called the white box OLT hardware. Today, Redis is announcing the the white box, the availability of the white box OLT hardware, and uh, we have a few flavors. Uh, one of them is called the Combo Pawn, which basically allows you to do G Pawn and XGS Pawn on the same Pawn port. Now, these uh, OLTs, as I talked about, are open programmable and scalable okay that's great so this this is sounding to me from a position of what i must admit is almost total ignorance on the matter it's sounding quite reminiscent of something i do write about a fair bit uh, which is open ran and more broadly a sort of telecoms industry mega trend towards openness towards multi-vendor compatibility towards scalability agility all the stuff that comes with virtualization so you know could you confirm that i'm sort of barking up the right tree and tell us a little bit more about how your product fits into that broader trend scott um there has been a, a strong demand from the operator community to be able to uh break away from the vendor lock if i may right where the hardware, the software, and the management system are all vertically integrated. They worked well and they worked and they've served their purpose, no doubt about it. But given what is coming up next in terms of software virtualization, network function uh, virtualization, and having the ability to scale capacity in and out as required, right? You now need a new way to build telecom networks, just like the way the cloud uh, functions were, were built, right? You have to bring those the same service agility into the into the telecom uh, access networks as well, right? So the Redis is white box combo pan OLTs along with our uh, Connect Open Broadband Access Controller allow, now, allow you to now build a virtualized OLT where the software is completely na- uh, cloud native and virtualized, can run either on the white box OLTs themselves. And mind you, this is a multi, multi-vendor white box OLT. So this white box OLT can take software running from any uh, software vendor out there that can run uh, open OLT interface towards the white box OLTs, or you can run the software on a, in a cloud environment. So it essentially does four things. Number one, it allows the operators to break the vendor lock-in, and it provides for two important functions. Number one, service agility, the ability to introduce services faster. Number two, uh, allows for faster innovation. They can now bring in innovation in hardware or in software in smaller chunks without having to wait for a system, a, a, a vendor that brings all of it, you know, in, in one piecemeal, which then translates into two key or main business drivers. Number one is the reduction of CapEx, because as we just talked about, it, it allows for mixing and matching of the hardware elements and software elements, and now has an option of multiple white box OLT vendors out there. Now, uh, the, the last one being OPEX. As you uh, you know, put the software like like we talked about, which is cloud native and it is it, and can be centralized. You now have a single point to upgrade the software without having to go down and upgrade you know hundreds if not thousands of these OLTs. All of these, Scott, 
are, are the key reasons for why the operators are driving towards uh, a virtualized, disaggregated open access networks. And today, Redis is announced with our announcement today, we are now enabling uh, the wireline uh, fiber access providers to, to build a completely virtualized uh, PON OLT with our white box OLTs. That's brilliant. That's, that's, that's explained it perfectly for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott.